Never knew. Never knew. And then I started to know the difference between a relationship, business, and materials, aka money. How was I not to get these things intertwined with each other to where it becomes my misery, a burden placed upon me so heavy that I would not be able to outweigh it with the things that I myself put forth in the effort to manage it. I had to see the difference. This is a relationship. This is money. This is business. These are materials. AKA the money through the business and a relationship. Of course, I wasn't supposed to treat everything the same, but once I did, things fell in line. And I was able to pick them up. All the way. It was inevitable. There's no way that these things, business, money, materials, relationships, would not be a certain way with my guidance. It didn't even take my understanding, just took me being acquainted with these four titles, somehow one. A person will be considered somebody to be in a relationship with. Somebody to give me money somebody to give me materials, somebody to do business with. This person will be somebody to split bills with, split the cost of food with, split the cost of getting these materials with. Split money that we have with. If there was a difference, I must have acknowledged it because so far, these four things don't intertwine with each other and have this burden on me. I'm able to see things clearly. I say that because there's other people that can see things, these four things, clearly in their lives are perfect examples of it. Things get paid for whether late, on time, or early. Business transactions are successful whether late, on time, or early. Materials are collected whether late, on time or early. Who that money is that forever current flow through their hands, whether late, on time or early. I always see myself and other people with these four things, aka all considered one. Things, a thing. Did it take me learning from somebody else? Did it take me going to sleep and dreaming about it? Did it take me to actually possess these four things and make wrong decisions with these things to learn what it was to do in the right way with these things? Only because I don't have something to show would be the reason why it would be said I don't know what I'm doing with these things. But if I have something to show, it must mean I know a little bit, at least enough to help somebody else other than myself. It's true. Or it can be said that the amount of money that I've made so far, I've taught somebody else how to make it. 
more than one person. And it's true. The only reason I learned how to make that amount is because somebody else before me have made that amount and shown me. Here it is when we talk about bills being paid. Somehow they get paid. There has been times when they don't get paid. When things that we have to pay for do not get paid right away. And certain things happen. And we wonder why certain things will happen or won't happen. Other than it being without our contribution towards the matter. Or somebody else's. We like to play the bluff game. If there's a game to play called the bluff. Basically saying, I want to see what this person will do before I do it. Because I know I'm able to do it. I know that I want the same thing as this person. But yet I want this person to go through this first. Me speaking on observation. Not from what that I want. But from observation only. And wondering why we would... Wait to the, not the last minute, but the minute to where this inevitable probability or cause will take effect. If nobody wants this to happen, why would we hold on to certain things? If a person is without business, a relationship, materials, money, are they considered lifeless or that of a person on the street, what do they say, a hobo? They don't have any of these things, so they live on the street. They don't even choose to get shelter that is in place. Nobody should be on the street because there's, there's a bunch of shelters. And then here it is, nobody should be without a place because there's a bunch of things for you to do to collect materials, money. There's a bunch of people to do business with, especially with yourself, and have that business grow to where people will invest in you. And there's a bunch of relationships to be had, to have. I'm only speaking for myself. That's fine because that means I will progress and those around me will progress because of my progression. I understand that one doesn't work without the other one. And to not mix these similar ones together. How? Well, here it is, the material money. You have it, and it's a tool for you to use. It's a number. You mix this number with other numbers to either make more numbers or make the numbers obsolete. You have materials, clothing, cars. You use the clothing to keep you warm if it's cold or to keep you less hot. When it's hot, you have the car to get you from point A to point B, planes. You have the bed to sleep on a couch. Or you have that floor or the carpet to sleep on. The relationship. There's people that will see what you see, feel what you feel, talk how you talk, walk how you walk. You'll be able to occupy the same space as them. And they would treat you accordingly. You'd be able to see what they see in the, in a way that you're able to understand. It'll almost be as if though a thin line of peace exists. And all it takes is somebody to throw that pebble in the pond and have a ripple effect. You should be able to occupy space with anybody But once certain things are said or done and the understanding or the knowing of a person's capability of 
being able to be somewhere else is in the atmosphere. It's just a matter of whether or not a person truly is or a person will show that they are there to help you or not. And they can do whatever they want to towards you because nobody's going to do something about it. Are you going to do something about it? You're being mistreated. What are you going to do about it? You don't want to acknowledge certain things because of that peaceful line that's so thin that's existing. And to see that situations are only that, which whether it be written or said, and it's just that floating, and it shouldn't escalate anything. Things should be solved exactly how it is what you're listening to. Every situation is just like this, whether written down or said. It's only when we choose to escalate situations because of who knows, but throw it out there because of a look. Because of a feeling of side effects. Swaying the odds against someone else versus yourself. Having that end result be in your favor. And just you alone versus it favoring everybody else. And and including you. Once you've made it known who you are and what you see, especially towards other people, that will always be. When it, when you are the bare minimum and your truth about you, your leaves, your colors, everything about you is spewing out there. There's no denying it. And what you just put out there, you will attract. And it's not my position to save anything Anyone, not even myself, because if I do something, that's what it is, and that shall come back to me. I've been in many situations like that. I've been on a swing, and here I go, I'm finna jump off of it. This is me in the bare minimal situation, whether or not I land on my feet or not. You know, who could have known that one day? All this times, all the times of me landing on my feet, it would my my pants would get caught to the swing set, flipping me upside down. Who would have known all these times of me riding a bike, I would run over a, a hump big enough to to knock my bike, and when I, my bike hits the hits the ground, somehow I fall off of it. Who would have known by me driving the way I do, even with my seat belts on? All these seatbelts on and me swerving lane to lane, trying to hurry up and catch that yellow light before it turned red. That I get in the accident. Who would have known by me cooking the way I do? And even if the temperature is on low. Somehow that food will come out burnt, chewy. Especially when I involve other people in this. Beauty and madness. Of course, we want to continue these certain types of existences. It's feasible. It's comfortable. I don't know what I'm going to do other than treat this person the way I truly feel about them. I don't care. Here it is. When that's thrown out there, who's in that position to continue that? Is money going to solve that is a person's physical capabilities going to solve that is bringing people other people in your in your problems so they so they're called going to solve that we know what's wanted and it can be attained but why would we force somebody else to attain that with? Why would we put ourselves, why would we say, hey, you know what? 
I know that I can get the same thing as this person, but I'd rather have them do this for me. I'm not going to help them out at all. But watch me, watch what I say to them and do to them and how I am towards them till I get it anyways. Versus taking initiative and getting your own self situated to where you ain't got to worry about nobody else coming into where you were at and messing up any situation that you got. You're in your own space. Us people sometimes have responsibilities. When we have our own space to handle these responsibilities, they get handled. How we feel, our moods, forever changing, don't fall off into the next person. We don't lash out at them because of our anger that we feel, these emotions, these random emotions. We don't lash out at this person. If we're able to occupy our own space or space with people that we want to, why wouldn't we do that? Why would we? If we can literally come together in this same type of atmosphere, once again, there's nothing big or should be so big, nothing so small that should be so small. Everything can be handled just like this, especially when it's said. If somebody can say this, whatever it may be, a situation, and say it just like this, after they say it, it will be like this. It takes that next person or these other individuals in order to follow that lead and continue that same. You with me. I'm with you, too. We want a better ending and not just that, but a better beginning, because when it ends, it begins. And when it begins, it continues until it ends, but it still will begin. When that money is made, we, we, we made something so important. We made a currency. We made a flow of things so important. Money. We made it in a business aspect. We even put a relationship with it. We had materials collected around it. We said that in order for it to occur through natural law, certain types of atmospheres must exist. Everybody agreed upon this. Everybody lived like this. Everybody believed in this. It was unanimous. We had these facilities built off of that same type of momentum. And no matter whatever came from that, as long as that same type of momentum came from it, everybody continued that currency. Basically put that everybody was in that relationship, that business, that money and the material and it's collected. Everybody came out with something. Though we want to describe to something as money, a new place, a new car, new shoes, new clothes, new bed, new couch, more money to help pay for bills. We we with it. I'm with it too. It's never cleansing. It's feeling. It's forever fulfilling. It feels so good to know that we are this that we embody. And as long as we acknowledge that we do not so-called lack anything or we don't have no place to go and we don't want to live without certain things or individuals. And here it is. We don't want to do what we have to do in order to live there or to be there. But this is what. Where else can I go other than my, if I'm able to have my own place, then I shouldn't have to worry about me doing anything for anybody just to just to have a place under, under or over my head. But here it is, something that's being done is not so bad, and it's something that actually is natural. It's something that I, I mean, I, I must want. I got to get it from somebody. I might as well get it from somebody that's giving me everything. To have that free choice too. Some of us are blessed like that. I say were because I hear some people saying, oh yeah, I live here. I ain't got to pay for nothing. But I always got to do this stuff. It sounds like you start paying for stuff. 
Talk, you, you know, if you don't want to do something, get your own place. And here it is. I'm in a position to where I'm able to work with people. I'm able to have relationship with people. I'm able to make money with people. Give people what they want. I was able to have that certain type of existence and still have it to this day. Even though certain things are going on, I choose, I choose not to do it because of the relative, the relativeness that it will bring a reverse effect through certain types of existences that has already been proven over and over and over again. And it shouldn't continue because nobody wants to digress. And if we clearly see that there was a progression with there being a separation and here you are, you just moved everything backwards for not just yourself, but you try for other people. We're not going to continue that. We want to help everybody. I'm being helped. So I must I must have to help people in a way that I have been helped. It's almost as if we forcing each other to do certain things that we know we kind of want to do. We just don't have that real oomph to let go. But once we let go, so many things, so many doors that we already have opened will show themselves to us. And here it is for us like to go through and we're wondering why did it take so long for us to do this and just to say these certain things. It's towards one another too. And we know what it is to say it. And we we tell ourselves, oh, I don't know how to say this. Uh, maybe should I say it today, tomorrow? Well, uh, maybe I should have this person help me to say it or show them this. Or uh, it's not that serious. I just want to have sex. Or it's not that serious. I just want some money. Or here it is. I'm not that serious. I just want a house. Or it's not that serious. I just want a new car. We we base this. We base. We make. We bring a lot of bushes around these stems. We bring a lot of dirt around for these seeds when only one has to be planted. And we find out how that one can be planted. And then once it sprouts that leaf, then we go off for that same type of pattern versus putting all these seeds in the ground that we don't know how to plant. We try the same process on all these seeds and only one seed comes up with the plant from the ground. And we got all these seeds that just stay buried. We're not doing that. We have business. How to conduct ourselves with each other and bring a a current flow of ideas in a relative moment. We have money. A tool that we use to keep currency, a flow of things and to purchase materials, materials that sacrifice our necessities and wants. To where we don't have them no more. And to have this relationship. The way we are with individuals. And to where we are satisfied. And where we're able to say that this is somebody who I'm able to occupy the same space with. I've been through many things with this person. And this is a person that I don't mind sharing this space with. And doing all types of things with. We both agree on this. Sometimes they might even get tired before I do, but because I want it so much, I let them do it to me any type of way. I, mean, I feel like any way possible. As I'm saying, that spit got all up in my mouth, made a bubble. Money, relationship, business, and the materials revolved around it all. All it takes is our acknowledgement for what I'm observing, along with our actions. <laughs>